Welcome to the Enersys Richmond Kentucky plant. Built in 1976, the Richmond plant is one of over 20 Enersys manufacturing facilities worldwide. Richmond manufactures a complete line of industrial batteries for motive power applications, as well as reserve power and railroad battery needs. Our 350,000 square foot Richmond plant employs over 300 people and currently produces over 200 batteries containing 4,800 cells each day. It is also headquarters for our national parts and service center, providing same day shipment on over 250,000 parts for batteries and chargers. Our 90,000 square foot distribution center contains over 2,800 pallet spaces. Our national training center is also located at the Richmond site. Employees and sales representatives receive training on the products and services provided by Enersys. This training center is also where our technical service personnel receive ongoing training covering our complete line of products. The Richmond plant received ISO 9002 registration in December of 1993. It was the first American industrial battery plant to enjoy ISO registration. Today, all our manufacturing, engineering, corporate, and field service locations have attained ISO 9001-2008 registration. Here in Richmond, Kentucky, we manufacture the Enersys ironclad tubular battery, which exhibits significantly higher average voltages and increased capacities over ordinary flat plate batteries. Better voltage is what produces the ironclad effect which is the difference in work capacity between a tubular battery and a flat plate battery of the same six hour rating. Typically, this means at least 15% more usable power. Ironclad batteries accomplish more actual work, delivering better speed, better performance, and more usable power per ampere hour. They also exhibit longer life due to several unique design features. These include positive plates consisting of square glass fiber tubes and sleeve separators. High conductivity posts and inner cell connectors also contribute to the ironclad battery's performance. Join us as we tour our Richmond plant. You'll see for yourself the quality driven process and the attention to detail that make ironclad motive power square tubular batteries the longest lasting batteries on the market. You'll also understand how the strict adherence to statistical process control procedures ensures a consistently high quality product. The battery manufacturing process begins with lead being converted to lead oxide. At the Richmond site, approximately 72 million pounds of lead are used each year to manufacture batteries. Almost all of the lead used at Richmond comes from lead recycling centers. Enersys tests all of its lead for purity to make certain that it adheres to our strict quality assurance program. The characteristic required for specific battery performance determines what alloy is added to the lead for optimum performance, strength, and life. Lead alloys are differentiated by color code and stored for use in plate and inner cell connector manufacturing. Various other lead parts for the batteries, such as post assemblies, plate straps, and inner cell connectors are made in another area of the plant. Some parts are molded with copper inserts for better conductivity, less voltage drop, and better performance. It is a more expensive process, but helps assure the superior quality of Enersys batteries. Lead ingots, nicknamed hogs, are converted into lead oxide in a closed Barton pot process. In order to control the alloys, the lead is heated to 800 degrees Fahrenheit for processing. Lead is then channeled from the bottom to be atomized by revolving blades and converted into the lead oxide powder. This powder will be used in the paste for both negative and positive plates. Particle size, weight, and free lead content are checked for consistency and recorded for statistical process control. To increase the effective area of the plate's surface and thereby increase battery capacity, the most common approach has been to use finely powdered lead oxides in a paste. Pastes alone are not good electrical conductors, so a lead structure, or grid, is added to conduct current from all parts of the plates. Physical dimensions and weight are the most critical measures for ensuring good negative grid casting. Our quality assurance program checks for optimal consistency. 
Each negative grid casting has a mold number for easy traceability in accordance with the Enersys statistical process control system. Richmond uses automatic paste mixers to measure out the proper amount of lead oxide from the oxide mill, precisely blended with water, sulfuric acid, and other proprietary additives for improved performance. The paste takes on elastic, moldable characteristics in order to adhere to the negative plate grid. Paste mix components are tightly and accurately controlled during paste mixing. The paste must meet stringent quality assurance standards for density, consistency, and temperature. The pasting machine forces the paste into the negative grid. The plates are checked for equal filling of the grid, thickness, and weight. The plates are then sent through a flash drying process to allow for easy stacking and handling. They are cured in a temperature and humidity controlled room. The positive plate consists of a lead alloy casting made up of lead rods called spines. These spines utilize a special lead alloy, giving it better qualities for a positive battery plate. Each spine is cast with flights and buttons to ensure it remains centered within the oxide powder and glass fiber tube. Longer spines are cast using a unique high pressure casting process to eliminate any chance of porosity. Batteries rely on a chemical reaction between active materials and electrolyte to produce voltage and current. When compared to conventional flat plate or round tube batteries, the exclusive iron-clad square tube positive plate design provides a greater surface area for holding active material and exposing it to electrolyte. The result is an electrochemical reaction that provides more power over longer periods of time and faster voltage recovery after load. Enersys uses a unique woven glass material to meet this need. This porous material called cladex facilitates the free circulation of the electrolyte to the active material. First, the glass fiber braid is dipped in a resin mixture to stiffen and give it shape. The tubes are cured in three stages and then cut to length. To prevent fraying, the ends are trimmed to final length and coated. The tubes are color coded according to width and packed into boxes. Enersys also uses a square tube made of woven polyester called gauntlet. Woven gauntlet is also a unique shape and is very strong. It is typically used in lower stress product lines. The positive spines are inserted into the square tubes. The flights and buttons assure that the spines are centered. The blended oxide powder is used to fill the tubes and is dry compacted within the tube to assure initial capacity and consistency. The lead oxide is gravity fed to the tubes and vibrated to a precise packed density. Bottom bars are installed to cap the ends of the tube and insulate the bottom of the plate. Filled plate weight is checked against quality assurance specifications. The spine is now encased within the lead oxide powder, reducing exposure to the electrolyte. This will greatly minimize the corrosion of the spine and enhance positive plate light. The tubular positive plates go from the tube filling machine into an acid soak tank. This bath sulfates the lead oxide and hardens the positive plates. The plates are then cured in a temperature and humidity controlled room for several days. During this time a chemical change occurs which converts the free lead to lead oxides. One of the reasons for early battery failure has been the misalignment or omission of the separators that prevent contact between the negative and the positive battery plates. Enersys has overcome this failure mode by making separator sleeves that fit around each positive plate so visual quality checks are sufficient to assure they are in place. In addition, these sleeves insulate the edges of the plates from edge shorts due to misalignment. The sleeve separators are ultrasonically welded and cut to the proper length. A test verifies the weld is stronger than the base material. The positive plates are inserted into the sleeves and then moved to the cell assembly. The positive and negative plates are stacked together to form an element. After the element is assembled, all the negative plate lugs are welded together and connected to the negative post 
in a process called lead burning. Then all the positive plates are connected together at the positive post of the cell. To ensure quality and consistency, burners must meet proficiency standards and be certified. The completed element assembly is then stowed into the jar that will support it and contain the acid. Enersys uses a heat seal method of fusing the cover to the jar in a permanent fashion. The rounded edge of our heat sealed top is 50% stronger than ordinary square edge heat seal covers. The seal is as strong as the original material which prevents electrolyte leakage, corrosion buildup, and power loss due to electrolyte dilution. Each cell is individually air pressure tested underwater at 5 psi to make sure there are no leaks in the completed cell. Each cell is identified by type, date built, shift, and the heat seal machine each was built on to assure traceability. The completed cells are placed into steel trays, fitted with permanent connectors and filled with a dilute sulfuric acid, also known as battery electrolyte. The batteries are now ready to be moved to the formation room. Formation converts the material into lead dioxide for the positive plate or sponge lead for the negative plate. Enersys forms batteries with a unique advanced clean energy closed loop formation system we call ACE. This unmatched and evolving technology enables us to form and manufacture a much more consistent product and to do it more efficiently than other formation processes. And just as importantly, in an environmentally and worker-friendly atmosphere. While the ACE technology is largely proprietary, it is the benchmark for lead-acid battery production. It encompasses a series of self-contained, computer-controlled modules in which batteries are formed. Rather than forming individual cells, the ACE system forms an entire battery at once. Forming the cells as a complete battery ensures each cell in the battery meets the exact requirements for that battery type. This precise control assures every cell is matched within a battery, eliminating imbalances and assuring the highest quality possible. In addition, the system's flexibility enables Enersys to form batteries in various types and sizes in a single production run. The ACE multi-step electrochemical forming process allows exacting control of electrolyte specific gravity, temperature and formation current. This control enables us to form the best active material possible, which results in more energy per cubic inch than any other battery in the industry. The entire ACE system at Richmond is a breakthrough for the environment. Emissions are virtually eliminated because it is a self-contained system. There is very little waste and no runoff to treat, recycle, or dispose. Also, the ACE technology provides tight control of the acid used during formation. Each module is filled with the exact amount of acid needed for each batch being formed. There is no excess or wasted acid to deal with. For Enersys employees, the ACE system has many benefits. First, it cleans the air and removes much of the sulfur odors generated by formation. Second, potentially hazardous hydrogen and oxygen gases are eliminated from the formation room. Finally, the ACE system allows us to control all functions from a computerized control room. After formation, each battery is placed on a high-rate discharge test to verify the integrity of all inner cell posts and assembly connections, ensuring the battery will be able to perform properly. During final assembly, dozens of checks are made to ensure that strict physical and electrical standards have been maintained. Battery decals are added, and every battery gets weighed and its actual weight is stamped on the end of the tray. To further ensure world-class quality, Enersys uses a unique quality assurance process called Statistical Process Control System. This process ensures the involvement of everyone in the operation in the quality assurance process. Each individual is responsible for the quality of their operation, and each part must meet quality assurance specifications before it can progress to the next step. Enersys